So now as we discuss the new features in regards to vSphere distributed switches, you should keep in mind that that's exactly what we're discussing, is the new features. In other words, you should combine your knowledge of vSphere distributed switches from what you've learned in the book, from what you've learned from PDFs, from your own experience, and what we're going to focus on is what's new in 5.1 and then in 5.5. So I'm going to do my best to tie it all together, but I'm going to focus on what VMware has deemed important. So how do I know what VMware has deemed important? Well, we're in the home screen right now on the vSphere web client. So what I'm going to do is go over here and click on networking. That opens up the networking view and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to right click on the training data center and I'm going to say I'm going to create a new distributed switch. As you may remember we did this earlier in the training as well. So I'm going to let it go ahead and just be the default name for now because I'm not actually going to create the switch but I just want to see what my options are. So if you take a look at the versions of the switches that I can select you know about the bottom three here for 4.0, for 4.1 and for 5.0. So what's different about the others? Well in the first place if you create a 5.1 switch it'll only work with 5.1 and 5.5 hosts. If you create a 5.5 switch it'll only work with 5.5 hosts. So you should keep that in mind. But what do you get if you have 5.1 hosts and you create a 5.1 vSphere distributed switch instead of a 5.0? Well, you get some cool things. According to this, you get management network rollback and recovery. What's that? We'll take a look. You get health check. You get enhanced port mirroring. And you get link aggregation control protocol. LACP. And so we're going to discuss what each of these is and how that might benefit you in your environment. And so we're going to start off with network rollback and recovery. That's next.